What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? I hope you're having a good morning. Listen, uh, we had a little bit of a pump on Luna Classic. We had a much bigger pump on USTC. We got to ask the questions why. However, before we get started, we're going to start today with price action. The reason we're going to do that is because I'm going to tell you how you can cash out your Luna Classic. That's something that seems to skip over a lot of the discussions that we have, if you will. I get a lot of people asking me, like, how do I get my money out? How do I do this? How do I do that? So we're gonna talk about some of those pieces and we'll do that every single day. We'll just kind of figure out what it is that you need to do in order to cash out, especially if you're in the USA, which is where I am. So uh, without further ado, you know what to do, by the way. Make sure you hit that like button uh, because if you don't, uh, you might get butthole cancer. Anyway, let's, uh, let's kick it off. Okay, so first of all, if you um, you noticed here, the, the market is down about $15 billion on the day. However, what you're seeing is Luna Classic being up a little bit, and there's a lot of volume on Luna Classic right now because this is the moment. This is the time. This is the spot right here where we're going to see a, a, a big influx, I think, in attention because they're about to burn a huge amount of the supply. There's going to be a lot of people who are super excited about this and they're going to want to uh, layer in their position if you will and make sure that they have a big bag because it's probably going to be an easy 2x probably going to be an easy 3x at, at you know at some of the estimates that we're giving so could it be yes will it be i don't know we have to see it play out we have to see how it kind of works but i think a lot of people are starting to move in now of course when you get that uh, as we are still in that volume range then you do have a lot of sell-off because you know there's 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 bearish pressure from people who bought down here because that's about a 50% profit. I mean, that's what you're looking for ultimately if you're trying to do some flipping. So everybody here, everybody down here selling out a little bit and you have the people who lose faith and stuff like that. So, you know, that, that, that's probably what's really going on right now. Now, I would expect to see a, a big impulse move coming pretty, pretty soon. You saw it attempted right here at 95 just a few short hours ago and um, that continuation probably going to happen because if you look at it and you zoom out and we kind of get uh, into the details here, we keep hitting higher lows every single time. We're getting a little more aggressive in that move. So I would suspect that we're probably going to see this thing fill up uh, over the course of today, provided this is a good day. I don't know that it will be or won't be, but uh, I would suspect that we'll see this thing continue on and we're going to see just a really big move. Now, the move that I'm giving you right now on the camera, that's, you know, 20%. That's not the big move. But when we zoom out, we kind of get an idea of, you know, where each one of those areas are. Uh, the 3x would be, you know, right above this green line. So that's where we've got to go. Uh, and then we, we want positive confirmation from that point. So a big move into this range and then boom, a breakout from there only has to go to this previous high for it to be a 3x from where we are right now. Just let that sink in. So here we are, the inflection point where we figure out what's going on. Now, why is it going on? Well, as you can see right here, we're up to $53 million in volume. And if nothing else, that means that there's going to be some significant burns coming from Binance, especially if this is the start of something that's got people excited. And by the way, I don't know what that is other than the fact that we had a significant amount of burn, which I'll show you in just a moment. And by the way, not huge, but a significant amount. And over here, uh, you've got about 100 million in trading volume, uh, USTC up 600 million over the last few hours. So there's a lot of trade volume happening right now. So um, now, before we go any further, the question that we're going to answer today is if you have all of your stuff on Station Wallet or if you're dealing with Station. The important thing to know is this. The blockchain is the blockchain. Your crypto is not on Station. Your crypto is on the blockchain. Okay, you're just holding on to that area and then your wallet is just your window into your little spot on that blockchain. I hope that makes sense to you. So you don't have to do anything if you're using a station wallet and it will work for a period of time. But if you're looking for safety and you're looking for something that you would like to do in order to make you feel good. There are many different wallets that you can choose from, but I'm going to show you one. Kepler, K-E-P-L-R. Now, I'm not a partner with Kepler. I'm not paid to promote Kepler. Uh, it's just 
this is the best wallet in the Cosmos ecosystem and it integrates with Luna Classic. So um, this gives you an idea fast and lean right in your browser. You can use it with Chrome, Firefox and Edge and then you can use it with Apple, iOS and Android. Now, how do you get, once you've done this, how do you, you don't have to move anything over. You just have to put your seed phrase in here once you've created the wallet, your seed phrase from your station wallet into here and you will now be accessing that same window into the blockchain from your Kepler wallet and then you can just delete your station wallet, okay? That's all you have to do. It's very, very simple. Now, let's give you a list of the chains so that you understand how robust this Kepler wallet is. You can use Osmosis, Cosmos, Akash, Sommelier, uh, Terra, Kava, Quicksilver, Sentinel, Persistence, Ethereum, Mars Hub, Stargaze, Terra Classic, Secret Network, Regen, IrisNet, Kronos, uh, Persistence, Axelar, Stride, Bostrom, Juno, Injective, UX, Agoric, Quasar, Omnifix, Neutron, Kive, Noble, Litecoin, most of the Cosmos, as you can see, most of the Cosmos ecosystem, uh, Celestia, Passive, uh, or anything made through Atom, you're going to see probably in here. Uh, Didex, Dimension, uh, Chihuahua, Evmos, Saga, Seda, XPLA, Prism, Optimism, Base, Blast, BNB, Arbitrum, Avalanche, Polygon, Lava, and Zeta Chain. So as you can see, you can do whatever it is that you want with this wallet. You've, you've pretty much got almost every single one of them. Now, uh, the fact that Bitcoin is missing... Um, you know, it would probably be preferable if it were there, but this is a total DeFi wallet and, you know, Bitcoin uh, probably a little centralized at the moment with the way that it's trading. Not that it's a centralized item, but, you know, um, uh, hopefully we'll see that that gets integrated. And if, if not, by the way, just wrap your Bitcoin with Ethereum and move it that way or, you know, whatever. Um, uh, the Remember, uh, you can also trade free on the base chain, which is supported over here. So if you use CBBTC and you just convert your Bitcoin into a wrapped Coinbase Bitcoin, then you can just use the base system for free. It doesn't cost you anything and transfers in, you know, a few seconds. So um, there you go. If you have a problem with your wallet, you can use the Kepler wallet. Again, I'm not partnered with these guys. Uh, and I do think that um, Strathcole is working on a wallet. So there'll be some more uh, stuff that you can use pretty soon. And by the way, Station Wallet will probably still work after the 30th, just so you know. Um, it, it will just be, it, it'll just no longer be run by anybody. So when there's an upgrade or something like that, something's going to break at some point unless somebody takes over Station Wallet. If they do, you're just fine. Okay, so that wraps up exactly what you do if you want to sw switch your wallet so that you have a wallet that's working. What if you wanted, however, to cash out? What if you want to cash out your your Luna Classic because you got to pay bills or something like that? Right now, it's a little complicated to do. Well, here's the easy way for you to do it. And I don't want to overcomplicate it. So if you have it in your Station Wallet or Kepler Wallet, again, that's not really in your wallet. You don't own that. It's still on the blockchain. Uh, if you have somebody's tokens, this, the token is still on the blockchain. You just have in your wallet that window access so that you can see your stuff on that blockchain. Hope again that makes sense. But if you have a question on how do you cash out, well, first of all, all you have to do, very simple, go to the markets over here and then find the market that has the project that you have and find the exchange that's in your region. Now, for me, if I want to cash out, there are several ways that I could do it. And I'm in the USA. So Kraken supports the US, the USA. So all I really have to do is move my Luna Classic over to Kraken and then convert it to USDT. Now, um, if I'm in the United States, again, there's there's restrictions here. We're going to use centralized exchange only. Uh, but uh, Kraken, I can move it all over there. Um, Gate.io, same thing. I can, I can move that over there. Uh, when I come out here, now you'll see, uh, you have a few of them. Crypto.com. Uh, now, the, the problem with Crypto.com is they no longer support it, but they have the tech on their system right now. You just can't convert it. You would have to, you know, move over um, uh, like USDT if you did it from another exchange or something like that if you're trying to cash out, okay? Uh, so what you're trying to do is you want to move your lunk into somewhere that holds and allows you to do it. Uh, one of them is going to be Weeks, W-E-E-X. You'll know that they're a partner in the channel. There's a link in the description down below. If you want to trade Luna Classic Futures, then you can do it there. Also, Femex, if you want to do it, same thing. So 
if you are looking to cash out your Luna Classic and turn it into cash, and you have to go through a centralized exchange in order to do that, uh, like in the United States, and you can use Femex, uh, you can use Weeks, uh, you can use Kraken, you can use OKX, you can use Crypto.com. But again, with Crypto.com, you have to convert it over first because they no longer support it. Uh, but again, you, that's how you can get it out there. So, um, and finally, you can also use Bybit as well. Same thing. All you have to do is transfer your Luna Classic from your wallet into the centralized exchange. When you transfer to the centralized exchange, it'll ask you what chain you want to do it, and it would be the Cosmos chain uh, for, for Terra Luna Classic. And you would move it over into that wallet. Once it's in that wallet, you would then go into your spot trading, and you would just trade it for USDT or USDC, and then you just cash it out. What's up, guys? Cryptonomy currently has 850,000 users worldwide. System. It offers staking for more than 600 coins. Guys, you can earn yield on your favorite cryptos. It also supports over 4,000 trading pairs with the best exchange rates and no fees. On top of that, the company regularly hosts giveaways and provides gifts and opportunities for the community. Let me give you an example of that right now. From today until November 1st, for every fixed staking deposit of 1,000 USDT or more or launch pool contract created, they're going to give away a random bonus of 50 to 5,000 USDT credited in the native token of the deposit. Now, speaking of this, there is a giveaway that you can see right here. If you got an email, if you're a member, if not, Miss Columbus Day, here's your last chance. And that means from November 1st, you're going to have an opportunity to get in on the Columbus Day reward here. Again, this Columbus Day reward is deposit 1,000, get up to 50 or 5,000 USD in credits for the native token that you've made for a deposit. Listen, guys, Cryptonomy makes it so simple. All you have to do is hodl. All you have to do is hold your crypto, grow your portfolio, add in some staking from Cryptonomy, use your fixed staking protocol, use your launch pool protocol, and start earning yield right now. You let Cryptonomy use your crypto. Cryptonomy turns your crypto into more money for you. That's what everybody's looking for. That's what everybody wants. Make it happen with Cryptonomy.finance today. And listen, let me show you my results again. The completed staking that I did not that long ago, the accrued interest from this was 168,000. That was a 50-50 split that I made with these guys because it was a short period of time. So much so that I went into the bronze where I get a 75% reward, which is, I haven't gotten it yet, but I've accrued 68,173 so far. This contract date ends in June of 2025. Uh, the bull run will not be over by that point. And remember guys, the important part, that's where the top of the estimated bull market is gonna be. All of this crypto right here has been staked and I'm gonna get a huge amount to cash out when the time is right. Now, when it comes to the launch pool, look at the last returns that we got. Storm Trade, 2, 2x, Omnia, 4x, Trax, 2x, Carve, 1.64x. These guys are making great gains, and you get a cut of that if you work with the launch pool. So what are you waiting for? Get started today at cryptonomy.finance. That's all. That's all it takes. Now, if you're uncomfortable with that, Weeks is a non-KYC exchange, so you could do that. And then after you convert it to USDT over there, then you from Weeks can send your USDT to like your Coinbase uh, account, and then you can cash out from there. So very, very easy. That's how you do it. It's very simple. Now, let's talk about a little bit of news. So uh, 320 million burn. And I, you know, I woke up this morning, I thought, what is going on? Well, Turns out we've really burned quite a bit over the last couple of days. And this is, guys, it's a fantastic thing. Is it huge? No, of course it's not. It's not huge. But here's what it is. It's a good and consistent amount coming through every single day. You had 55 million on the 18th, 29 million on the 19th. You had 45 million on the 20th. You had 43 million, 42 million on the 21st. You got 21 so far today. So you're continuing, you're continuing to see just a nice little burn, a little tick up in some of that burn volume. And guys, listen, you know, go back here and you can see how much or how little we were burning towards the end. Um, so this is just a, just a bit more. So, uh, and with that, don't forget, Terraform Labs has to burn 274 billion over the next eight days. It's about to get insane over here. And, and just to be clear here, 
held in their wallets 1.8 billion, I want to say, of USTC. And if that is not on the chain, again, let me go back and tell you the problem that I have. The problem that I have is we have a circulating supply of 5.8 billion and we have 8.14 billion in total supply. Has this already been removed? That's the question. And I don't have the answer for that. And I haven't found the answer for that yet. So I don't know if it hasn't already been done. This could be something of a nothing burger. Now, of course, a reduction in the supply is always a good thing, but it might be off the chain at this point. Also, remember, $274 billion over here. We got $5.71 trillion circulating, $6.79 trillion uh, total supply. I don't think that it's included, but I don't know for sure. So uh, we could see a, a significant, that's a 5% reduction in the supply, by the way, in one fell swoop. So um, that, that, that could be that we're getting a really, really huge, uh, and significant reduction of the supply in just like that. So that's why people are excited. So let's keep going here. Anyway, so 320 million, um, there've been 101 lunk total burns in one transaction. So there's a lot, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot being pushed out here and burning. Um, now the question is one of momentum and what this article basically says is that the MACD and everything positive crossovers were looking good. So a surge to three zeros 15 would happen pretty soon in their estimation. And that would make sense from the, from the standpoint of uh, this right here, but it would actually be 16 because that's the golden ratio at this point, which is what they're really kind of saying is that that what you expect to see is that perfect golden ratio playing out on your chart and that's where it is and it's actually at 3016 so expect to see a surge to that 15 area but expect to see it push up into 16 and then that would be right about where it would get a rejected providing that we get that big surge that we're talking about or that they're talking about so um there you have it now let's talk uh, a couple of different things. There's governance going on right here and Lunk eToro 23. Um, uh, now we just we just expanded the validators from 100 to 110 by community vote. Now he wants to put out a proposal uh, to to turn to lower it to 60. I don't know what the fuck's going on with this. Okay, I have no idea um, what the logic is behind. It. Well, let me you know. Let's go through it real quick and we'll see what the logic is. They're talking about the number of people that vote. It doesn't matter whether you vote or not. You're not obligated to vote. You should vote uh, and you should validate with the people who do vote. But the way that this would work would be that the people who don't vote and the people who abstain or the people who don't participate don't validate with them. Problem solved. They will go away because there's no money in it, because there's no there's no revenue being generated, because they're not community. And, and then that leaves it on the community where it's supposed to be. That's the spirit of decentralized finance, isn't it? Not controlling how many you have, but making sure that the ones that participate are the ones that get the reward. Doesn't that, isn't that how it works? So we don't really need that. Uh, it's just wild that now we're just continuing, we're, we're, we're continuing to have nonsense discussions about, about stuff. It's all I say. And no disrespect to him. I mean, you know, if that's, if that's his thing, cool story, bro. You know, but let's keep going. All right. So, um, and by the way, Terra, shout out to Terra, up 28% today. So uh, you can see right here, not a lot of change in the volume, not a lot of change in the trading price or anything like that on all the meme coins. It's just one of those kind of sideways sort of action days. You see there's a couple of big uh, movers, but they, you know, when you look at these, these are micro, micro, micro cap. They're going from 1,000 to 2,000 uh, market cap. You know what I mean? So it's, it's not something that's a lot of people are trading. If you want people who are trading a lot, go to Terraport. Terraport will tell you which ones are being traded. And in fact, if you want to go, then you can see what the volume is for each and every one of them. So, you know, it actually becomes very, very simple <clears throat> for you to check it out at any point, at any time that you want to. Uh, and then, of course, if you want to, you can earn as well. I've got nine days left in my stake over here. Uh, I'm in the 90 day win. So once I claim that, uh, best I'm going to be able to do at that point is go into the, the 14 day. And we'll just have to, you know, continue to build uh, and do it from there. Uh, then you can yield farm, uh, you can liquid stake, and then you got the launch pad here with Selenium, the new synthetics platform, which again, we talked about that uh, a little bit. I'm not eligible because I don't have 10,000 Terra in my wallet, but as soon as I get unstaked in a couple days, then, you know, we'll take a, we'll take a shot at that. And it's going to be the average, by the way, you're going to be the average of what you're holding in your wallet. So we'll just top off to over 10,000 so that we have it. And then we'll participate in this every single day and we'll do $50 in daily swap, stuff like that, so that we get some of this synthetic when it comes out.
So anyway, then that just adds another one to the bag, if you will. And we'll see what happens. Uh, as far as governance goes, uh, we did not get a pass on that CMC update link, but we did get all nodes is now the one. And we've got a new proposal up to remove forked modules. So far, everybody voting yes on this one. We'll probably see this one pass with flying colors. Uh, and then uh, we'll simplify this, this, this process here, which I think leads to the next impetus. And that next impetus is going to be uh, the, the replacement of tax to gas with Strathcoe and Happy Caddy Crypto. I think it's called the reverse charge. So we'll see that happen uh, in short order. If you want to go to Lunk Dash and you can check out all of this. Lunk Dash, as you know, is Happy Caddy Crypto's place. So uh, if you have any question, you can certainly check it out over here. Matter of fact, we'll probably reach out to him and find out about these total and circulating supplies and whether or not they're part of it. As you can see right here, this wallet right here, 253 billion, uh, this is supposed to be uh, one of the TFL or um, uh, either TFL or LFG wallets so that's where we're getting that big amount so we're expecting that to happen USTC same thing LFG right here I mean you guys really I mean you can see it right here kind of playing out uh, 1.8 billion Luna Foundation guard uh, and then 290 million TFL and then the question remains that total adds up to 2.1 billion and you come over here to USTC and there's over 2.1 billion taken out. So, you know, again, that's why I have a concern about whether or not this is included because some people are like, maybe we should vote it out or something like that uh, because, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so it might be, again, I, I, you know, I'm not saying that it is. I'm just saying that, you know, it, it, it might present a problem. Uh, overall with, with the, the number of burns. So uh, we'll see what happens. And then that leads us to the final thing, Terra Casino. Guys, they've got a new one out with Platypus Spirits of the Prairie. Go play that one now. There's a mega free roll right now, $5,000 only on October 26th. You got four days, but if you sign up over here, uh, then that's going to be an opportunity for you to win up to $5,000 in a single day. Uh, you've also got Pragmatic Play offering cash drops of up to $11,000 between October 1st and October 27th. And until December 22nd, you got 2 million euros able to be won through the World Poker League Poker Knockouts Tournament Series. And then, of course, if you're looking to trade, you can trade with Luna Classic, Luna, uh, Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, Polygon, Matic. Again, it's just Polygon. I keep forgetting it's not Matic anymore. It's just Polygon. Um, and XRP, Link, um, USDT, USDC, whatever it is that you want. Sign up today. Helps me out. Remember, these are sponsors of the channel. You want me to continue to provide you with this information. You got to tune in. And you got to help me out. Uh, and by the way, also sign up at Weeks if you want to do some exchange trading of your Luna Classic. Boom. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, you now know how to do your Kepler wallet. You now ha you know how to cash out. Uh, you know all the things that you need to know. Uh, and you know all the news that's going on. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.